Um, okay. So we'll do the cheese here. Not really cheese, but you just... The, the car likes to not have the tires heated up. So you put the car in fourth and you can just full throttle and not really care about it. And it'll come up to speed in time. And I believe how it works here is, even though it's counting the lap right now, even when we come back to the line, it'll still be lap one, so that's fine. Um, we keep the car at 101 miles an hour around there. You can tell I'm really enthralled by this. And if you were planning on watching the truck video too, I'll be doing the same thing. So why not watch two for one, right? I'm just going to hold this about halfway down the straightaway at like in the 100s. We'll make this a second lap. So about right here-ish, you pick it up and this will get you to full speed by the end of the first lap. Getting ready for the second lap. So the one thing you really want to make sure you're not doing is sliding your tires in any way that adds heat to them. So you just want to keep your wheel as steady as possible. And there's one more little thing that we'll run into as we get off of turn four, uh, coming up to our actual hot lap. But until then, we're just gonna chill. I'm not picking any particular line to go to for this corner. Well, you know what, this offset doesn't feel too right. But it doesn't really matter. It's Talladega. Okay, so for turn three and four, we don't want to be right by the wall because we get wall arrow. So I'm going to go like right here, let the car maybe come up a little bit. And then as we get into the last part of the corner, we'll turn down the hill so that we can straighten out the wheel right now. And then we come down like this and get all the way to the bottom just so that we don't have to do a bunch of wheel turning on the outside there. And then we enter very shallow on the yellow and then we just hold it on the yellow the whole time. Try to keep your steering wheel completely soft. I recommend if you struggle with that because of your wheel to lower your force feedback, maybe even to zero just for qualifying. Notice how I let the car slide up the hill there. Adding extra wheel input would have uh, scrubbed a little speed and we don't want that. Turn three and four, same thing. Want to enter right on the yellow line. And then right here, we'll let it come up naturally about to here. And we unload the steering wheel. And we want to get back down in time to get down to the bottom. And we just wrap the yellow again. There's going to be some bumps down here. Just try to keep your wheel as straight as possible. Um, you can... Sorry. Oh. I was going to say that you you will be able, or you can go down to the apron, but it doesn't really get you anything because the start-finish line is so late. Let's just do one more practice lap. Uh, we'll do it again. I don't think that the tire temperature difference is going to mean anything on fourth lap versus second lap. I guess we can just talk about what to do here. So anyway, remember, we want to go down to the bottom just so that I can straighten out the wheel as early as possible. See how I'm just coming up to the wall? That little bit will get you just a tiny bit of extra speed. And then we kind of come down naturally and try to hook that yellow line while making our way through the bumps. I don't really care about how high I'm up here, but I want to be right on the yellow for entry. I'm going to try to be a little closer to the yellow this time, see if that gains me any time. And then, slide the track like that. Yeah. So I think, uh, I think the tires are a little bit too hot now, and that's why I'm marginally slower. That's kind of the difference because these uh, cars like cold tires for hot lap. But yeah. So yeah, you guys get kind of the idea. 
I like qualifying in Xfinity because Xfinity tends to be a roadblock type super speedway race where there's not a lot of movement through the field because the cars, they don't get out in front of each other very good. I don't know what's going on with that. Oh, jeez. Um, so if you can qualify up front and control the field, that's really good because usually what happens is people will hang out at the back and then what they do is, oh crap, there's five laps to go. Everyone's got to try to get to the front, and that's when they wreck is when everyone's trying to go for the same real estate. So if you're already in the front, then you're going to be in front of that wreck. And it takes a little more brain power and a little more effort to be out front than just hanging around in the back. But honestly, if you're hanging around in the back, what's the point of racing anyways? You know what I mean? But anyways, thank you all for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day. I hope to see you all on the track.